Hi and welcome to the video tutorial on how to install scripts in Adobe After Effects. Basically, uh, there's two kinds of scripts uh, in Adobe After Effects, uh, starting with CS3 and above. Below CS3, all scripts are simply installed in the scripts folder. But in CS3, they, in After Effects introduced new embeddable panels and sometimes they're uh, it, the instructions say that they need to be installed in the scripts UI folder. So if you um, open the scripts folder, in, which is in the same folder as your Adobe After Effects uh, program, on Windows, in, it's in the scripts folder, it's inside of a supports file folder, which is in the same um, folder as your After Effects file. So in the scripts folder, if you do not see, so I'm going to double click to open it, if you do not see a script UI panels folder, like in this case, you're going to have to create one. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder and I'm going to call it script UI space panels. And spelling and capitalization is very important for this folder. So be very careful when you type it. And so if you have scripts that need to basically give you instructions to put it there or say that they're embeddable panels such as Zorro then you go ahead and install those inside of there so notice how Zorro is inside of the script UI panels folder other scripts such as the nth layer selector which do not use embeddable panels simply go in the scripts folder so here we go nth layer selector and then Zorro inside of the script UI panels so let's go ahead and launch After Effects. I'm going to show you how to run and use those scripts. So scripts that are installed in the script UI panels are run from the window menu. So if you go window, there it is, Zorro, the layer tagger. And so when you run it, you get a floating panel like this. To embed it into your workspace, you grab this left grip here, this left corner, and then you can drag it and put it anywhere you want. So I can put it in here, for example. And what's really cool about these is that they're saved with your workspace. So if I switch workspaces, say, for example, to the effects one, notice how now that's gone. So if I wanted to embed Zorro into this workspace as well, as well, I would select it again and then just drag it and embed it wherever I want to use it. See, there it is. So if I switch back to the standard, then there it is where I had embedded it before. And then regular scripts are run from the file scripts folder. So there is nth layer selector, as you can see. It needs an active comp to run, but that's okay for now. Um, however, on Mac, there's another really cool way to run scripts. If you go to the help menu in the search box, so I can just start typing nth, as you can see there, it automatically found that script for me. If you just select it and click, it runs the script for you, as you can see there. So that's a really cool feature on Mac to run scripts. So that's it. That's installing and running scripts for Adobe After Effects.